Hello people of Earth! So you've got a project, probably a film, and you want to send all the large files from one place to another. And how are you gonna do that without breaking the bank? The year is 2024, there are many options out in the market, so I did the work for you through the registration and into understanding the pricing, just to give you what is the best way to do that. So let's get to it. So first candidate, it's MASV, which they hired a lot of influencers, produced really great videos. They're really catering for filmmakers. So I was like, great, it looks like that link that I can just send the client and uh, like, don't worry about it looking professional. But good game, MASV. I think I understood how it being your pain for how much you're downloading. So after all the monthly and all of that, um, let's say a feature film is around seven terabyte. Um, everyone is filming 4K these days. We're coming down to $1,219. Uh, no, thank you, uh, MASV. Next, Aspera from IBM. Um, no, thank you. It's not for the small um, production. Transfer now uh, looks like a cute option, but we have a 250 tera uh, gigabyte per transfer, uh, which means that maybe for smaller projects, if you're working on social media projects or stuff like that, that can be cool. But if it's a feature film, if filming in 4K, um, you're gonna run through that and then you're gonna need to start splitting it per transfer and this is where you can start to get confused with transferring footage and you don't want to do that so I think the best way is just to give a link so at the end of every film day the DP or the DIT is just downloading uh, just uploading all the footage from the same day and then you're downloading it the same day obviously tell them to like have the computer connected to ethernet cable if that's not possible have it sit on the modem or right next to it and connect to electricity and you're good to go and uh, it will probably take take a day to upload a day to download but once you did that, delete and continue. And always, always tell your producers to have a drive for a backup. Next, Smash. Also look really cute and uh, the price is good per month, but we're running to the same 250 gigabyte uh, limit storage for 30 days. So could be good for smaller projects. Transfer XL. Um, we are running into 200 gigabyte uh, max and 100 gigabyte per transfer. Too small for us guys. And I almost forgot these guys. Uh, Ig Ignite with Y, I think. Brand names these days. Um, so they have a 15 days free trial and I'm not really sure. It's looking very friendly when you're signing up and you have to like put your Gmail and da 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 but um and it didn't give me the confidence that like with the 15 days what i can do so i don't know if i want to send a client the link to tell them to like upload over here and then uh, going to needing to pay and realizing that i owe them two thousand four hundred dollars and uh, now we end up with we transfer which to be honest I've been using them for a while. Uh, this is, by the way, like not paid by anyone. Like you see that this is no high production quality over here. I seriously just want to like give you guys what is the best way to send files these days. So we have no size limit on transfer. We have unlimited storage and unlimited portal for and reviews. I don't know what it means. I don't care, honestly. And their uploads have been pretty stable and easy. So. 23 bucks uh, a month seems like the way to go and look at that they have received with the ease which means that we can send uh, a link to the client and they dropping everything and that's it for 23 bucks you got it done 
definitely a better way to go than using uh, Google Drive. Google Drive oftentimes will fail while uploading, definitely fail while downloading. Um, so that can be a thing. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, you filmmaker friends, uh, watch your wallet and uh, do things right and see you in the next video.